cold showers. I know it's like a popular thing right now. And I want to show you what the science says because it's pretty darn cool about how cold showers can help you do some insane things in your body, including losing visceral fat. Yeah, for 14 days, I want you to give this a, a, a go, but let me explain why this works for you. Let's dive in. First, I have to tell you that this video is sponsored by Juve Red Light. And what's really cool about red light, if you're not familiar with it, is that just like cold showers can help you burn fat, so can red light. And you're gonna hear me talk a lot in this video about the power of our mitochondria. And do you know that your mitochondria have receptors on the outside of them for light, specifically red light? So when we give our body red light, then uh, we start to see that those mitochondria work for us. And you're gonna learn here why we need the mitochondria in burning visceral fat. Okay, here's a new concept you may or may not be aware of, uh, and it's super important for those of you who are trying to lose weight. For starters, you have two types of fat. You have white fat and you have brown fat. And white fat has less mitochondria in it. And so it's harder to burn white fat. And white fat, it, it typically is uh, likes to build around three areas in your body. It builds around your chest. So, you know, for women, this can be the white fat in their breasts. For men who are maybe even building some Man boobs, that can be all white fat, which is why it's so hard to get rid of. Um, they don't have as much mitochondria in it. Uh, our abdomen, visceral fat is, to me, visceral fat and abdom abdominal fat are very much the same type of fat, and they're white fat. Um, so it, less mitochondria, visceral fat, of course, is the fat around your organs. And then the third place that this white fat likes to go to are your thighs, specifically the upper, the upper part of your thighs. So the name of the fa fat loss game game is let's not accumulate white fat. But what if we've already accumulated it? The next name of the game is how can I turn white fat into something called brown fat? Brown fat is more burnable. It has more mitochondria. And so we, the more we can turn white fat into brown fat, the quicker and the easier that is going to be to burn. So this is really important for those of you that are struggling to lose weight. I want you to think this through because it's possible that you just need more brown fat and then everything you're doing is is gonna work for you okay so here's what cold showers do first is a cold shower will help convert white fat and turn it into brown fat how does it do that it does that by supplying and and activating more mitochondrial energy inside that white fat so you can change white fat it doesn't have to stay white fat and you can turn it into brown fat so it's easier to burn. Fasting, by the way, does the same thing. Cold, mix a cold shower with some fasting, maybe right before you go back into food, at, right before that break fast meal, you would do a cold shower um, so that you're activating and really making sure that you're getting this white fat turned into brown fat. The second thing that we know cold showers will do is they will actually start to burn more brown fat. So it's, it's kind of like, you know, when we have a prebiotic that kills bad bacteria, but also so feeds good bacteria. When I look at the at a shower, a cold shower, it not only converts white fat into brown fat, but it also gets your body promoting a more brown fat burning because of this mitochondrial control. Now, here's something really interesting to think about, which is, okay, how cold does the shower have to be? If you're like me, this is where I went with this information. I was like, Really? Like, I'm not a fan of cold showers. I know I always feel better afterwards, um, but not necessarily something I'm like, yay, I get to take a cold shower today. So here's what you need to know. The shower needs to be 58 degrees. 58 degrees Fahrenheit is how cold that water has to be. And you want to be under, under that cold shower a minute to two minute. The goal is you don't want to be shivering. So if you want to turn this white fat into brown fat, you don't want to shiver. So those of you that are cold plunge lovers and you're like jumping in the cold plunge all the time and you're shivering in there, that's a nut. There's a benefit to that. But if we're trying to turn white fat into brown fat, we want to keep it around the water around 58 degrees. We don't want to shiver. A minute or two is all you need. So I'm just gonna leave the study there so that we can all geek out on it together. Now, 
Another way of looking at this, and in the article, the study show, talks about this, is that um, it doesn't just have to be a cold shower. So I, I started to look at these principles of white fat, brown fat, and I was like, okay, well, where else can we put ourselves into some colder environments to get this transfer of white fat to brown fat and then to burn more brown fat? Well, being cold, outside being cold, in your house being cold, like you just need to keep the temperature that you're around or that you're in at 58 degrees. So now the trick is don't put a sweater on. You don't wanna, you're not looking to warm yourself up, you're looking to stay in that 58 degree environment for a minute or two so you get that thermogenic experience and you get the burning fat that you're looking for. Um, I even started to think, could you find a way? I mean, I think it would be hard to bring your body temperature completely down to 58. Yeah, it would be really hard. Now come to think about it. If you brought your room temperature, so if could you bring your room temperature down into the 58 area and would you be burning more fat um, while you're sleeping. That's the way to look at it. So let, could we get that room icy cold? And I know all my menopausal women are like, yes, because it, they'll be burning fat while your menopausal symptoms are coming down and you're burning fat, all because you kept the bedroom at 58 degrees. That's kind of cool, right? So there's a lot of ways we can use this science to apply. I've even thought about, again, I'm throwing this out here, don't, on this next statement, this is more of a curiosity, could we all try this and see? I don't even know what like ice pack of areas that you're like, we always want to spot mobilize certain fat, but if we know that white fat exists around the abdomen, we know that it exists on the front of the of your thighs, there are things like I've seen some um, interesting advertisement for like vests that are cold that will bring your core temperature down so that you're burning more fat quickly. I have no idea if they work or not, but I started thinking, well, could you take ice packs and maybe put them on parts of your body that you wanted to burn more fat and see if it would just make that lateral transition of going from white fat to brown fat so that your fasting works a lot easier. That, don't quote me on that. I am thinking through like if you and I were just pontificating about a possible theory, uh, that's that's a possibility. Um, I don't know until we all try it. Let's all try it and see what we think. But the evidence is very, very clear that cold is a beautiful way to burn fat. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. Now you get to decide how that cold is gonna be and what you're gonna do to immerse yourself in those cold environments. And um, you know, a couple of hacks that I, and I'm, I'm in California, so I should not be giving anybody advice on how to weather cold, but I will tell you a cold way that I've done it when I've done ice plunges before is you put a hat on. Um, just put a hat on, and it kind of keeps it keeps that cold a little more tolerant. Um, I can tell you at my house, I have a sauna, and I'm actually looking forward to getting a cold plunge. I just now know if I'm trying to burn fat, I don't want to stay in there until I'm shivering. There you go. That's why you cold plunges work, why cold showers work. But let's try it every day for 14 days because it really is that ability to do it over and over and over again that you're gonna see the result. Like if you go jump in a shower once and then you're like, ah, oh, Dr. Mindy doesn't know what she's talking about. One day is not gonna do it, seven days not gonna do it, but 14 days, we might see a difference. So if you take the challenge, let me know. I'm watching the comments, I'm watching the comments. So put it in the comments if it worked for you. But as always, don't give up on yourself and have fun with this one. Let's just have fun with it. It can be a really cool, it could be a really cool trick. Enjoy. Okay, you trying to maximize your weight loss? Apple cider vinegar may be the key. Go check out this video where I show you exactly when, how, and why you wanna use it for weight loss. Apple cider vinegar changes your microbiome of your gut. This good bacteria is gonna to help to bring your blood sugar down and make it so that you can switch over into the fat burning state